Good afternoon all. Hey, so I was upgrading to Simple 3D 2023 and I was going through the migration process of bringing my profile and my workspace over. And I always find that this is, it's not a super complicated process, but I always find myself reading up on it, trying to find a YouTube video on it. So I did, this is going to be a short vid on how to bring those profiles and workspaces over. What's, in, we'll take a look at what's in what, so to speak, you know, what's the workspace contain and what's the profile contain. So let's go ahead and jump into Civil 3D. And what we're going to do is we're going to kick things out of 2022 and then bring them into 2023. So you can see I have some customizations here in 2022. So for example, my home tab, I just have grading optimization displayed in my, in my layer and my layers uh, panel. It's the only thing when, I, when I'm on my home tab. And then you can see I got a red cursor, a black drafting background. You can see if I hit this new button here, start a new template file or start up a DVG from a template file, it takes me to my customized location. So how do we get all that into 2023? So let's start with the workspace first. So we're gonna type in CUI on the command line, CUI. And then we're gonna see that, you know, we have this customized user interface window. And it can be a little daunting, but it's simpler than it seems. So we go to this transfer tab and we're gonna grab our Nate save space and bring it over. So drag it over to our workspaces here. Oh, oh looks like we got two now. Let me delete the planning and analysis. Yes. So I have Nate's safe space that's brought over. We brought it from left to right. And we see we have this new customizations file. So let's go to save as, and we'll just throw this on the desktop 2022 workspace. And say save. So you can see that we have 2022 workspace.cuix. That's now the name of it. So let's just say, okay. And now let's kick out our profile. So options on the command line, profiles tab, and you can see we have a couple of profiles here. You can see Nate's profile is the one that's set current. So let's go ahead and export Nate's profile, export this out, and we're just gonna throw this on the desktop, and I'm gonna call this Nate's profile, 2022. And we'll save it, and we'll say apply, and we'll say okay. So now let's bring those two elements into Civil 3D 2023. So open Civil 3D 2023 up. You can see that this is the out of the box look for it. So we have, we have that white crosshairs. We got that, you know, we don't have the black drafting. Our home tab displays all the panels. And if we hit this new button here, we can see it takes us to the NCS EWT files. So let's bring in our workspace first. So it's gonna be the reverse order now. So CUI command. Same order, we're gonna do the reverse drag and drop. So transfer tab and customizations and new file. So now we're gonna open that one we just kicked out. So we're gonna go open, go to our desktop, our CUIX file, say open you. See Nate's safe space is now populated right here. Select that, we're gonna drag it from right to left. Okay, Nate's safe space, we say apply. And then we say okay. So let's go ahead and now let's swap our workspace here. We can go to Nate's safe space. And you can see this is where our home tab now is. We have our layer properties there. So as you would expect, same thing for 2022. You notice when I'm, you know, in the background, it doesn't, the crosshairs are still white. So that's tied to your profile. And the black drafting background as well is also tied to your profile. So we say hey here and we say new just to see and our, we're still going to the NCS template location. So it's also tied within the profile. So last step, options. And we're gonna go to import. We go to desktop, Nate's profile 2022, open you up. I'm just gonna get rid of the 2022. Apply and close. We're gonna set you current. Apply, okay. Now you can see we have our red cursors, our black drafting background. We go here and hit new. It takes me to my template folder location. So just a couple things, profiles, workspaces, migrating them, fairly simple. Just a couple picks and clicks, but, and what's tied to them. Workspace is gonna be that interface. The profile is gonna be your crosshairs, the drafting, 
and all your saved locations, so your templates and whatnot. So hopefully you found this helpful, and uh, thanks for tuning in.